We traveled from Lamberus, Carnarfon to Cardiff, Wales via rental car. The drive took us four and a half hours and was a little rainy. Sizzling lamb. It's okay, it's sizzling. And the tandoori. Alright, it smells like tandoori. This is a little tough. I can't cut it with the spoon. breakfast and we're gone yep. you know that's gonna be good here's Sandy's first day driving all right so not only is everything backwards look at this even the shifting is backwards so now one and two and five and six are back or well they're the correct way for you <laughs> but for here six <coughs> fifth and six is closer to me while one and two is further yeah so you not only have to worry about driving standard you also have to driving backwards on the backward side of the road you also have to shift backwards so scott's done it for two days already so it's my turn anyway you got the key no nope. you don't need a key okay well it was on now it's not on anymore yeah so I don't know. let's try it here we go don't, you wipe me off? don't crash yeah they're on auto okay. deactivate it Uh, whatever you're comfortable <coughs> with, you're the driver. We're in a Vauxhall. My first time in a Vauxhall. Are you going to put in where we got to go? It should automatically go. There you go. Don't believe it though, just head straight. Should be good. What side are you going to drive on? The left. What side of the left are you going to be on? The left. No, the right. <laughs> drive on oh, the left I, side on the right hand side of yeah. it. Wow, this person. You gotta just go forward. Yeah, that person's. Uh, right. clear. You got your brake on. Okay. Clear on the side. Okay. Here we go. Vauxhall versus Ford. Northwest on High Street towards Stride Y Finnan. Going backwards. It doesn't have a backup camera, but it's got that sonar. That's good. Okay. Wait, cars are coming. Okay. You can go now. No. Yep. Alright, you're out. Everybody beware. In 1,000 feet, turn left on day 4086. How does it feel? Weird. <laughs> so weird. I think it's the right hand turn that's the most scariest thing. The roundabouts for me are going to be the scariest. Oh, I, I love the roundabouts. There's only a couple rules about roundabouts. One is don't crash. Take the next left on day <laughs> Two is 
whoever's in the roundabout has the right of way. And try not to stop. You know, that's just a little nice. This is on this side of the road now, right? Always down the left. There's been a lot of road construction up on this road, so you'll probably have to stop it up. So wait up there. And you're not even in sport mode. I'm in sport mode? You're not. <laughs> you're not even in sport mode. Alright, so we gotta wait for the light and it'll go like yellow and then green. It's kind of nice. There we go. Yesterday, people were using it. What? Yeah. The first day, they it didn't seem like they were, but yesterday, everybody was using blinkers. I was like, oh, good. We're all part of one happy family. A road driving family. Look at the scenery. It's gone already. <laughs>
half hour. How do you feel? A little nerve-wracking on the roundabouts. Yeah. More than anything. That's all we have is roundabouts. Um, they don't even have like left-hand turn, <laughs> like where you turn left at a stop sign or a stoplight. They don't have those. It's just all roundabouts so far. really unexpected here in uh, the UK is that all the signs are in imperial units so there'll be a sign telling you something's coming up and they'll be in yards um, height of a bridge that you're gonna go under will be in feet or yards sometimes and all the speeds are in miles per hour or every other country we've been to all throughout Europe and even Panama and Colombia everything was in meters and meters you know Long per hour um, yeah you'd see a sign it would tell you um, M or K for kilometers per hour but um, I kind of thought England uh, UK was gonna be like that too but it's surprisingly not yeah, we're coming down the mountain Daddy's getting flashbacks from when we were in Colorado, hanging like right on the edge of the road, going down this kind of a hill. Being in a low gear. Yeah. Yeah, for hours <laughs> we were like that, and we were both all sweaty because it was so stressful. <laughs> Coming on those switchbacks. Yeah. up getting on this road that's really small this is a two late two-way road traffic in both directions but there's really only enough room for one car so Sandy's got to go slow to make sure that uh, you know we don't hit anybody <laughs> it's kind of crazy yeah this looks like fun but it's good see super tired but uh, we're only a few ways a few miles away from the Airbnb right now and we stopped at this stopped off at the store called ASDA I'm gonna see if we can find some snacks and stuff so we didn't do the walk around earlier because the host was here and she showed us through everything so here is the living room got a load of clothes going here is the bathroom. And this is the clothes drying rack I took out. And she was super nice. She left us some cereals and bagels and coffee and some fresh milk and some orange juice. For breakfast and I guess this is some butter yep and butter for the bagels so she's super nice uh, place smells super clean I love it uh, this is our bedroom kind of setting up shop already and uh, we've got our bags and our clothes all set up basically we're unpacked and now we're going to go take a walk and see what kind of trouble we can get into so i'm at a co-op right next to our airbnb and i'm gonna get some interesting stuff like this burger king's flame grilled whopper doritos that sounds so strange, I have to try it. Look at these different sandwiches. Today I'm gonna try the chicken and stuffing. Because chicken and stuffing sounds good. Look, 
you can save a dollar. These magnums are only two fifty. Flavored milk. She already got us milk, so I'm not gonna get any more any more milk, but that looks really cool. Banana flavored milk. I like that stuff. And most of their pastries are gone by now, but they seem to be pretty decent prices. Traditional pasty. Traditional pasty, dollar fifty. Here's a Cornish pasty. Italian meat sections here. Good prices. Gonna get one of these little meals, two for six dollars. Macaroni and cheese. Gosh, cash but Cadbury's is so cheap over here. <laughs> so expensive in the States. We're all set up. Listen into the Pactors game. Got some laundry and making ourselves some food. Listen to the Packer game. Yeah. Sounds like they're doing good. Made ourselves some English tea. Scott's got stuffed bacon. And I got me my sandwich. It's good. Great news. <laughs> Great news for you. Great news for me. We still have a few more days left of our year rail pass, and we're going to make use out of it right now. We're going to get on the metro and go to another city. We got our coffee. Everything's great. Next train in about 10, 11, maybe 12 minutes. Right, 53? Yep, 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Got time to drink the coffee. The train's gonna have to come in, back in. One coach. It's one coach big. The train is in the side platform in Pasana. It's a guy in the middle There it is. Here's our baby train. It's coming.
fight them. They've also taken over. <laughs> no, we won't be included because we're doing that well. <laughs> Look at that name. Are you going down to the museum? <laughs> That's rusted. <laughs> All right, we're back here, and here's where we're going to see some castles, right? Yeah, well, one castle and some museums. And eat. Yeah. Eat. Here's what it's called, the stop is called. Cardiff Street. Welcome to Cardiff, the capital city of Wales. <laughs> <laughs> Say that really. Welcome to Cardiff, <laughs> the capital city of Wales. And Wales is going to take over the world. <laughs> I don't know why he says stuff like that. <laughs> Because they're such nice people, they're like Canadians. They're full of humor and niceness. Nobody's here to hurt anybody. Just make some flowers. Look at that Mike. 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 <laughs> Just sitting this on the rock. Really I know. What a pretty place. That's part of uh, Cardiff University. It's just, it's just like students. Uni? Yeah, it's you, part of uni. Yeah. It's the University of Wales. In Wales. <laughs> Don't try. <laughs> That's Wales. <laughs> You must buy tickets. Must buy tickets. General admission, free, if you just stay in the public square where you can get a tour. What time is it? The two o'clock show we can get tickets. This is the north gate. It takes a long time to walk to get up there. It's 
Sorry, sir. We only have one tool. That could happen. Easily. Cool break or something on the other side of this can. See it. So the clock tower and other things are only open on the weekend. This way to the Roman Wall. It smells like a dungeon in here. <laughs> So if we just keep going to the room as deep as you can, remember there's quite a few of us on this guy's saw. Mainly about the order of third mark recipient. John Patrick Crichton Stewart. Okay, this man was not one years old when he died, okay? 
1890 to 1891 is the year that he was the mayor of Cardiff, okay? So this is the man who was very intelligent. He stood up to 20 different languages. I did fail to tell you he stood up for women's rights as well. He spent most of his supervision uh, in Flemish Dock here in South Wales, where, the, where Cardiff Bay is today, regenerated many years ago. But build, by building the dock, he allowed the Welsh coal to come through his dock from his lands. And that is how the family became one of the wealthiest families That's crazy. Yeah. So, when this John inherited everything, he gave it all back to the people and left back to Scotland. Of course he would. <laughs> of course he would. our attempt at Welsh food. A taste of Wales. We're gonna get it all? Yeah, let's get it all. Leek and cheddar Welsh cakes, Welsh cockles, laver bread, 
rare brit crostini, smoky steaky bacon, lamb cow, Welsh cheddar, crusty bread, Welsh rarebit on sourdough toast, the Welsh house shepherd's pie, seasonal vegetables, and traditional Welsh baguettes. Baguettes. <laughs> Creamy mash, crusted peas, crushed peas, rich onion gravy, and barra brit pan curdu. Cream and glaze and Welsh cakes, strawberry and Maryland liquor and chantilly cream. Wow. Doesn't that sound interesting? Made in Wales, we're gonna do the black dragon dragon cider. Why not? It's award winning. He pours a glass, he pours a glass. Look at that, it's almost like a bartender professional. Yeah. That is baby. Mm, not as good as the other ones. I was about to say all ciders are good, but. This one's good, but it's not as good as the ones we passed. Okay. I love this. Gotta get one of these in the future. It's like pouring a bamboo shoot. I love that. Okay, so this is uh, the Leeks and Cheddar Welsh Cakes. This is the cockles. This is the rare bit crostini and smoked streaky bacon. Oh, nice. And then bread. Bread. Bread and cheese. I thought I heard her say the word rabbit. <laughs> That's rare, rare bit. Oh, rare. Yeah, okay. And I want to take All right, butter and bread. That's a good butter bread. This is the, the, oh, this is just the appetizers. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot more food coming, I think. You like that? It's like cornbread. Oh, good. It's on slate. Slate from the slate mine. Mmm. That's like bread with spinach and bacon. Good. And oh wow. Okay. Wow that's, that's hot. cheese. <laughs> But a really, really good version of beef stew. Alright, that's what we've been smelling. So I'm glad it's we got it. It's pretty saltier, I don't like it. Alright. I have a chef's pie here for you. Thank you. Just be aware, this one has just come out of the oven. So that dish is very, very hot. Okay. Is there anything else we can get for you at all? Uh, no. That would be it. Fantastic, enjoy. Thank you. You were looking for drinks, yeah? Yes. Perfect, enjoy. Shepherd's pie, I can say. <laughs> I know. <laughs> So, shepherd's pie and what is that one? Look it up. Lamb, call, Welsh cheddar, crusted bread, Welsh rabbit, and sourdough toast. That might have been the other stuff. Yeah, it was. So, this is shepherd's pie, yep. seasonal vegetables, traditional Welsh baguettes, creamy mash, cheesy peas, and rich onion gravy. I don't know what a Welsh baguette is, but it's these two things probably. Yeah, those things. They're, they're called what? Baggage? Baggots. Baggots. <laughs> Alright. Here's the top. I guess I just look like I wanted the shepherd's pie. That's good. 
Well, let me get you. Uh... No, it's okay. You can try this one too. Ooh, peas. I love peas. I cooked good too. Onion gravy. Right, she said this one just came out of the freezer, so it should be really cold. Freezer. <laughs> oh, there's the shepherd pie. Look at that. Oh, oh make, yeah. Make it so crispy on top. Oh, yeah. It smells a little spicy in a good way. Molten lava, huh? Mm -hmm. Burn your mouth. Can't taste it anymore. <laughs> it's not like the other shepherd pies we had. It's got its own flavor. It's almost like a Indian food in a way. Really? Like no. a curry? Yeah. Like, not like what we've ever had. But is it good? Yeah, it's good. It's fun to have foods you've never tried before. Look at this. Look at all these yummy things in there. Again, freezing cold. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't believe him. He's in dad joke mode. <laughs> That's good. What is that? It's um just a vegetable medley and it's there's cabbage in there and stuff. It's crunchy. Good. I like, like it. I like it too. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Ooh, I got the stuff with the strawberries. I think I got that. So we should flip it around. I think you should try it. Ready? Oh, you have to wait for your spoon. It's coming. I don't know how to eat this. One bite at a time. I'll try you this one. Oh, it's cream and cookies and strawberries, which is the best part. Of I'm gonna get a bite that has everything on it. You know, it's creamy, buttery. <laughs> I think that sauce is like a, you got a little bit of alcohol flavor in it. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's and must go sure in one of these, right? What we're supposed to do with those sauces. Me neither. So let me try this first. Ooh, this smells like carrot cake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like if you had a like a pretty bland carrot cake. And then you poured like a tub of butter in there. And just melted it. That's what that thing looked like. It caused you to shock back three times though. Yeah, that was a lot of butter flavor. I'm like, trying to imagine how they made that. So do you think any of those sauces would go good with that? Um, I don't know what they're for. I don't know what they're for. I think you just have to like pour them on your plate to try them. <laughs> I guess we'll pour. Oh, this is one of those nice candied oranges. You know. Yeah, a little of that, a little of that, and then I'll pour one sauce on each one. Oh, that's a lot of sauce. Well, you gotta overcome that buttery flavor. Is that strong? No, it's that strong, yeah. That tastes like Condensed white chocolate. Like. Oh. Now I can taste some of the other things that are in that fruit cake thing. Um, but still, it's overwhelming like butter. But that was nice. That was really nice to have the white chocolate on it. Yeah, I guess that's what it's for. That's good. I gotta try this. That's caramel. It looked like chocolate, but it's caramel. Very good. I'll eat this all in. Okay, good, perfect. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Look, they have a bath and body works. Didn't they go to business? No, no, they no? just down. They got rid of like a thousand stores. <laughs> Alright, we're done. We can, barely we, can, walk. we can barely walk. We can barely breathe. We're so full. So we're gonna call it a day and uh, see what we trouble we can get into tomorrow.
So I looked at the reason why there are two faucets here. Hot and cold. It's because back in the olden days, they couldn't trust their hot water to be not contaminated because it was in the attic. So they uh, could only trust the municipal water, which was cold to drink. So this is the reason why they have two taps. So now you know, you get to choose between scalding hot water to wash your hands or absolutely freezing ice cold water. That's the only choices you get. Why do they still keep it this way? I don't know. Amazing. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So we came to the Italian restaurant right down the street and it looks good. They're all speaking Italian here. The coffee has been good. It's got, got a bolognese. I got a carbonara. It's raining today, so we're not going to go anywhere probably. Yeah. Once we get brave uh, and we're just going to eat lunch and then skip dinner. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. Give it a try. Does it remind you of Italy? It reminds me more of the United States. Oh no. Salty and lots of flavor. It's yeah, it's like really salty. Not too bad. <laughs> Where are we? Uh, car friendly. And we're gonna do what? Uh, just look around. We might go to a castle. Just see. We got. We really just want to use the train one more time. Yeah. <laughs> it's the last day for our passes. Yeah. What a cute little town. It's got a real moat. It's so awesome. Look at this castle. Look at that green. Oh, I haven't seen green like that in a long time, especially since Hawaii. I love the north. It's cold, it's crispy, it's green. Woo. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Yeah, it's coming down the castle wall. Hello. When did that happen? In the uh, 17th century. Oh yeah, 17th century. The famous leaning, the famous tower. leaning tower starts to lean. It's the Leaning Tower of Wales. <laughs> this is, uh, are you getting video? Yes. This is a good video because it's uh, a moat. A drawbridge. It used to be a drawbridge. It's interesting how they have the water going inside the town. I'm trying. 
Take a peek. Ooh. What is a good castle without a good spiral staircase? that leaning tower. Definitely it's definitely going to fall one of these days. And they're not trying to save it either. I'm just going to let it go. It's going to ruin that wall down there though. Definitely. on a day when the weather isn't perfect because this is how it was normally I think like it was always rainy and dreary so this is like you get to see live. how it was like how they really live yeah so this is the king and this is the wife and this is the villain This is the lover. Mr. Lover, lover. Mm -hmm. mm, Mr. Lover, lover. Oh, yeah. Oh, is this what was on their mind? Yeah, you can see what's on their mind. Shoot. Okay. So, this is the king. This is what's on his mind. It looks like he wants to sail away to a farm. This is the wife. In her mind, somebody has hung himself and she is heartbroken. This is 
the villain. On the villain's mind is nothing but treasure. This is the lover. What's on his mind is looks like war. There's a castle people with their heads on a stick and death and daisies all right these plaques are hard to read but they all intertwine with one another yeah so it's a, real it's a story yeah and it ends with the lover being hanged which is no, why this one's the end he she lives for another 27 years after ah uh, okay but that's why it's on her mind because he was hung it's very tall. They're, uh, they're working on it, so you weren't able to really see. But that's what it looks like when you can go down there one day. We're on our way to the Lady Tower. We were just over there. That's where that great room that was closed I was talking about earlier. What you doing? We are headed to the Lady Tower. This is up on the top of the Queen's Gate. Yeah. 